Hey community, good morning. Just want to get some information out to all of our customers and realtor partners. Thank you all for your support during these um, very difficult times. Um, we are business as usual. We are on the essential side of things. So anyone that's looking to buy a home, refinance, just please realize we are out here helping out anytime we can be of assistance. Don't hesitate to reach out. A few quick updates on the market. First and foremost, underwriting is changing. The guidelines are changing. So therefore, minimum credit scores have changed. In the past, we could do FHA loans with credit scores down to 580 credit scores. Now the new minimum has gone to 640 for us and most of our um, lending partners. Um, word on the street with a lot of the big banks around the area, their minimums have gone to 680. On the conventional side, the minimum we used to do is 620. That has now moved to 640. A lot of the banks have once again moved to 680, but there are still loans out there for anyone from 640 to 679. Just know things are changing very quickly. It's a lot like back in 07, 08, where you wake up each day and guidelines are being changed and affected. And just realize um, 10, 15 million folks have already lost their jobs out there. There's probably gonna be another five, 10 million losses of jobs. And so um, lenders are very cautious as to who we're loaning money to. We're ensuring that you have employment because when we loan money, the most important thing is to get paid back um, on the loan. And so with that being said, there's also a lot of information out there about forbearance programs from the government. It's very, very important you get the correct information on these forbearance pro programs. They are incredible for the right folks. If you have the ability to make your mortgage payment, make your mortgage payment. Do not skip. If you have the ability to make your mortgage payment, make your mortgage payment. A forbearance program is something that will allow you to defer payments for up to three to six months. But that means in four or seven months in, you're gonna have a significant chunk of change that you're gonna to have to come up with at that time. A forbearance is not skipping payments and not having to pay them. It's pushing them out to pay them at a later, later date. So if you are in a rough situation, you want more information about the programs, we don't offer them directly. You'll have to go through your servicer, but right now they are overwhelmed, overloaded. And if you'd like information, reach out to myself or any of our loan officers here in Kansas City or our other offices, and we'd be more than happy to walk you through what the forbearance programs are looking like and if they're truly gonna be right for you. On the last note, just want you all to know, interest rates have dropped significantly. They do continue to drop. I know a lot of folks out there continue to reach out about refinances thinking interest rates are down to one or 2%. That's not the case. They are near all time lows. And so if you're out there and you um, have higher interest rate credit cards and you put this off, don't put it off any longer. Now's your time to refinance. Try to get the highest appraised value so you can roll in as much um, higher interest rate credit card debt and things like that as possible. So I know this is a little bit longer message than uh, we usually get out there, but there's a lot of information out there um, in the market and interest rates, um, underwriting guidelines, and the future of the mortgage business. So just be aware things are changing every day. Um, if you don't have perfect credit, you're gonna have to really build that credit um, to a higher level to get yourself in a position to buy. Again, we're always here to help out in any way we can. Um, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, go check down below, um, go on our website and find out our resources. Make it a great day.